How's it going everyone? Dr. Derek here again with a light combo day. This is the third training day in my normal training week and it, I think it's a really great way to help mitigate fatigue by not lifting as heavy, focusing on more explosive traits, and I ended up repeating the same weights I used on my heavy day just because I moved those weights much faster than I thought that I was going to. So it ends up making it a lower intensity in general if I can move those weights faster, right? So using 315 on squats here, I was still clearing my minimum velocity that I aimed for, which was 0.6 meters per second, which you saw in the first picture there. And a lot of these were 0.7. I don't think I was moving them quite as fast as on the heavy day, probably from some accumulated fatigue, but that's perfectly fine. As long as I'm hitting the intended intensity. So the next exercise was bench press because it's a combo day doing lower and upper just with reduced intensities or reduced percentages by around 15% or so. And this one I was a little bit stubborn with. Uh, I was setting my minimum velocity threshold at 0.5 meters per second for bench press. And I believe I was clearing that pretty consistently on the heavy day. And this is 225 if I didn't already say that. And this day I was just barely not making it on some of these reps. So I'd hear that little buzzer go off and think, oh, just push harder, you'll get it. And then I'd miss it again, but it was only by a hundredth of a meter per second. So one of those deals where I really thought that I was right in the right spot. I think the lowest one I had was 0.47 meters per second. Aiming for 0.5, not too big a deal. I'm not gonna get too overtrained from that but it definitely kept me pushing 100% on every single rep because I knew I had to give every bit of effort that I had. And that's really one of the big advantages of using velocity-based training is that you get that immediate feedback. If you're not hitting the speed that you think you should be or that you set for yourself, you are going to give it everything you got on the very next rep to make sure that you get to that point. I was actually watching the uh, NFL championship games, NFC and AFC championship games. I'm wearing my Packers sweatpants here, sadly, because they had already lost to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So um, I had a little bit extra rage in me. Maybe that's why I was more stubborn. I don't know. So for the accessory work, I combined the dips I normally do for the upper body day and then the shrugs that I was doing on lower body days. The sumo deadlifts are still aggravating my hips quite a bit. So I'm having to skip those, sadly. I really enjoyed getting to do them for a couple of weeks, but the hips just don't agree. But take care, stay strong.